of its soul. It's Encoding Shamanic Peacemaker. So you guys, well today I feel there was a shift in the, uh, I don't know, universe. Um, the planets might have shifted or whatever, but I felt like a release of something. So um, I asked Spirit and they said, do um, one of those beautiful uh, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine love stories. Because the shift has happened in lots of Divine Feminines and lots of Divine Masculines right now. All right, so I'm very curious to see what it's about and... Um, how everybody's doing <laughs> on each side, all right? So um, we'll do one of these um, beautiful readings. And they want me to start with the angels and ancestors. As usual, I do Divine Feminine on the left and Divine Masculine on the right. To me, that makes the most sense. <laughs> or Spirit is guiding me to do it. <laughs> That's why it makes sense. <laughs> all right, so... Now I'm pulling in Divine Feminine's energy, please. So Divine Feminine, are you here? Are you there? <laughs> All right, so yes, I'm here. Mirror Guardian, take time to reflect. Okay. The bottom card, I had to take this one. Uh, lady. <laughs> Uh, it says enjoy growth and reap rewards. Yeah. Okay, so um, I'm going to channel these cards now. All right. So um, and uh, she's saying yes, it is I, divine feminine. <laughs> um. Sorry, she's sort of speaking uh, in a little old-fashioned sense, and I it, it's confusing me a little bit. So I'm asking her to just speak normal <laughs> through me. <laughs> uh, she's like, hmm. she's saying, yes, I'm a lady. I discovered that <clears throat> a while ago, and I wasn't ready to actually step into it. I wasn't actually ready to fulfill um, the true divine feminine that I am, this beautiful lady that I am. And um, I've, been, I've been looking to ward a partner or other people to match myself by and to see if I sort of fit in or um, how I was supposed to act or be in the world. So she's saying today what happened is that she actually fell into herself. She's like showing me how she, her soul like sort of was anchored into herself. And um, I really like this energy. So I can be me. I can make my own decisions. I can do whatever I want. I don't have to be ashamed of who I am. I don't have to feel guilty about what I do. Um, and I can enjoy life the way I want to enjoy it. Nobody can judge me for it. Whatever they they will say, whatever they will, you know, um, <clears throat> how much guilt they will put on me, I'm just not even receiving it. I'm just fine being me. I'm just good. I'm just good. I want to be me. I'm at, I feel like I can be me now. I just can And also in relationships with divine masculines, I, you know, I, I'm not not looking for for their uh, approval or hmm, what they think, what they feel, what they want.
what's important to me now is that I am who I am and, and what I want and what I need, what my needs are. And if you don't want to give me my needs or you can't bring me my needs, then it doesn't matter. I can bring them to myself. I'm fine. I'm just fine. All right, so this Divine Feminine is really, um, really, a, what a cool energy. This is like, oh, yeah, there is no burdens, there is no doubt, there is no um, sadness, sorrow, a heartbreak, anything. It's just a calm, beautiful heart and, uh, and solar plexus that is just doing fine, you know. I, I'm just being me. And I'm fine. I'm good. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, beautiful energy. So let's bring in Divine Masculine here. Oh, my God. I'm already feeling a sense, like, a little bit, feel, a feeling of I'm, I'm in love energy. <laughs> okay. Uh, Druid. Okay. So I'll just have to um, fix uh, the camera. <laughs> So, um, just two seconds. I just have to take out my ring. Because it sort of is, I feel like, dripping a little bit. <laughs> All right, so I'll just put it on again. Here we go. All right, so. Hmm. I drew it for this Divine Masculine. Mm, I can't wait to see what energy that is. Divine Masculine, are you coming in? <laughs> Protection Guardian. And it says, drop your shield. <laughs> An Air Guardian. Shift your perception. And uh, here we have um, <laughs> uh, Shield Maiden. All right, so um, okay, just a minute. I'll just uh, see. Um, <laughs> we have to take two more elder and the knight, okay? All right, so um. What I'm getting from these cards is a Divine Masculine who is uh, telling us that, well, he's been going through some things uh, regarding letting go of stuff. And uh, these things Divine Feminine already did let go of because Divine Feminine actually came first in their process. And, and they're showing us here that they are... Um, dropping their shield even though in these cards they're sort of holding them the, it, I'm, I'm being um, brought to to read this drop your shield make plans and focus so and shift your perception with this air guardian so that's what's happening here today and that's that emotion i just i was just feeling like a little bit in love a little bit excited and a little bit nervous and scared like like, I want to go for it. Now I want to go for it. Okay. Um, and what they have been doing is that they have been well moving th uh, through their ancestral patterns. All these patterns of traumatic patterns and what's been holding them back up until now, you know. So they are, um, that's what they, they're doing. I'm hearing today. It sort of happened for them today. And I feel like it could have been the divine feminine energy that catalyzed them to change their perception here. Because divine feminine's energy let go completely, 100% in this energy today. I don't know. Um, so, um, and they felt it. They felt it. They were holding their space and then suddenly... Okay, so Divine Feminine, why, where are you? I can't feel you anymore. I, I, uh, I, I feel like you let me go. 
and uh, and that ship shifted their perception. I feel like they could actually sense it um, uh, telepathically or in the heart. Okay. And they know now I have to come in as this knight. And 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 really um, do something about it, you know. Put a move on on my dreams, my heart, my what I feel in my heart. Put actions to it with this night. Yeah, they came last, so I I had to change them. Okay. So um. <laughs> In the bottom we have Shaolin Master, be graceful in movement and action. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, so this is what they're doing right now. I feel like they're no longer in this energy working on leaving or I feel like uh, releasing the trauma and all that stuff that has to be let go of. I feel like they have in this energy. Like, but it's like today, they did it today. <laughs> it's like, okay, so, um, yeah, that's very interesting. All right, so, um, all right, so I'm going to be using these uh, new cards. I was gifted here, the Guardian Angel Oracles uh, by uh, Chrissy Estelle. Um, a very very beautiful um, gift so uh, I and uh, Jessica brought it to me or sent me these cards I'm so happy about them they're so beautiful they're so beautiful all right so um, um let's see what they have to see <laughs> okay so what's going on over here with this divine feminine today what are they Archangel Raphael and Archangel Raphael is you know someone who comes in and helps us with uh, our love toward ourselves and in relationships and and I feel like in this case it's like love for for myself divine feminine it says I feel like I'm, I'm, I feel like I can love myself and it, you know, it's not a feeling of being in love with me or anything. It's a groundedness. It's a respect for me. It's a, it's a, the feeling is a, so, so filled with peace. It's just peace. It's, it's a calm feeling. It's easy. It's just easy. And, you know, uh, there are no doubts hovering. There are no, nothing, you know, hovering. It's just grounding. Beautiful. All right, so uh, Raphael, Angel, Archangel Raphael comes in and tells us about, I feel like, uh, and power. <laughs> in the bottom, we have this card, power, okay? Um, and there she is with the, with the lion. <laughs> okay, so the Van Feminine has... Hmm, I feel like overruled a situation that has been bringing her um, inner conflict of some kind and she is um, on top of it now. It's like I brought the power back to me. Such a beautiful calmness, and I feel like she could have actually um, tamed a divine masculine <laughs> or something like that uh, by just really stepping into her own and um, is uh, and I feel like there is a divine masculine who's realizing something about this divine feminine, okay. All right, so Divine Masculine. It's always they have all these cards because they have so much they want to say. <laughs> they have so many words they haven't been, you know, saying. Okay, passion. Yeah. 
there came this uh, one and forgiveness and self-belief and love okay so um yeah the divine masculine is always sort of taking the floor because you know uh, all of us divine feminines we kind of know a lot about these relationships already so we don't need to know so much about ourselves and where we are <laughs> but we but divine masculine is like uh, they never take the floor right <laughs> so they do here in my readings <laughs> that's very cute yeah we have this knight coming out and this uh, uh Sha shaolin master right this, this the passion is coming out here like now i'm it, the tables have turned in this energy i'm really getting so divine feminine who used to be the chaser uh, in this relationship stopped being the chaser just stopped completely let go and uh divine masculine was like what hey you uh, yeah what well <laughs> where are you right <clears throat> and now they're starting thinking oh fuck all the things i didn't do all the things i didn't you know uh, uh recall or give back or um all all the times i rejected her all the times i ghosted her oh, i'm such an idiot i'm what what why was i doing that you know uh, uh and now they're sort of realizing that this has something to do with them not believing in themselves and now they're thinking well divine feminine did she believed in me all along. And there was nothing wrong with what she gave and gave and gave and gave. She was just being compassionate and full of love toward me. And I just didn't receive it well because I, I just didn't know how to receive that kind of love because, well, I lacked the love for myself, right? So, um, so what I'm getting here is, um, divine feminine has been giving them a lot of love and they were like, how can I receive her love? I don't know how, how to receive her love and to me, but what's happening here is more than that. It's actually how can i receive my own love for me if she thinks i'm just perfect the way i am how can i receive it if i don't even think that i'm perfect the way i am okay so um it all actually comes up to their own little story they are where they have been repeating um, this pattern of feeling unperfect or just lacking trust and believe in in themselves and actually anxiety about looking at themselves without all the masks without all the strength without without showing strength or whatever you know um um so if I pull down the mask in front of you, how will you think of me, you know? But it's even worth because I, if I pull the mask for myself to view myself the way I am, it's even more scary, you know? Um, so, um, and I feel like in this energy they took the first step and took you know put the mask down and it has to do with also other people in their life that they have been 
letting them steer um, their journey or giving them control over their life or their choices and they are been um, I feel like they have been they have let that go they're like you know what I do what I want and I, I'm going with my heart I'm following my destiny I don't care what you think of me um, so separating other people's expectations for themselves from their own expectations from for themselves because they used to be a lot alike but now they sort of cut uh, you know the people out and now they're changing the their perspective no their their uh, uh, expectations <laughs> for themselves they're changing or that perspective sorry all these long words perspective of the expectations that's what i'm trying to say okay um and now they're allowing this love to come in they're allowing this love for divine feminine to come in and they're allowing the passion to come back in like the feeling in love with someone. All right, so um, I feel like that was a little long, but <laughs> yeah. Um, so what are we doing now? We're doing the universal love. So what is Divine Feminine mm, doing? So this card uh, just fell out <laughs> so transcience yeah i'm just receiving the universal blessings of love for myself for well just i'm aligning with the universal blessings that's what i'm hearing divine feminine is I know I am a blessing. I know I am born out of love. I know I am one with everything, everyone. And uh, I feel like divine feminine is not even looking to be strong anymore or to be empowered anymore or to be... Um, <laughs> anything anymore divine feminine is just being just i am that's what's coming out divine feminine is i am and that's it there is just grounding and peace and easiness to this energy i am Okay. so divine masculine what are you doing <laughs> birth and balance <laughs> wow see uh, uh, an inner child in the bottom okay let's do the goddess as well <laughs> all right so um in the bottom card yeah so okay let's do more we had answered the no the gateway and answered prayers okay so um <laughs> i really like this synergy here they're like they feel reborn and 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 that's the energy i felt in the beginning this is a youthful little uh, in love energy this i feel like myself again i feel like who i was when i was a child when i was um when i didn't have to think about stuff when i could just be free and just be happy and and i'm hearing first love so when the first time i fell in love it was so free and it was so like exciting and so so there's sort of i feel like i'm i'm hearing i'm back i'm back <laughs> okay um so um so the balance divine feminine is feeling they are actually also feeling that balance 
because of the way they um, have shifted their perception about themselves, right? Because it's not only in their mind they have shifted this perception, it's in their heart, their body, their soul, everything about them. It's like the feeling of now I'm sure that my what my perception is. I'm sure what my state of consciousness is about, well, who I am and what I want, and that I am actually allowed to feel this way or be this way, more be this way. I'm allowed to be the way I am, or I'm allowed to choose whatever I want. And what I want is Divine Feminine. Because this Divine Feminine is a goddess to me. I just know it. She's a goddess to me. So they have been, well, they have walked this gateway. They have walked through it. They have been born anew, right? And uh, and their, their prayers have been answered. I want to do some tarot because I want to have a little bit more... Um, Mm. details about these two okay all right so divine feminine what should we ask spirit i want some details for the group that's watching this please so i want to know her feelings toward this divine masculine please we're using the Grand Luke's Tarot. All right, so we have six, no, uh, it's five of coins and ten of coins and the Hermit and two of cups and the wheel. All right. So, um, and, and four of cups, she's still waiting to see <laughs> what's going to happen. <laughs> All right. So, um, hmm. yeah, again, there is an energy of I don't mind being my on my own. I just I I actually rather be on my own instead of having all this fuss in my life. Okay, um, because it was a little too um, uh, uneven. It was not balanced, um, and I, I just uh, I I just you know focused on filling my own cup here. And I don't want this if it's not love. If it's not true love, then I don't want it. And I feel like Divine Feminine has turned her own wheel of fortune. Said, I'm stepping out and stepping in to my destiny or to the future. And I'm in control of it. I, I, I choose to change it. I I. I I choose to change my life. But Divine Feminine is still like, I wonder, you know, if he will ever come back to me or, you know, but uh, I feel like there is such um, an, an energy of, well, Divine Feminine is actually fine. Really, she's fine. It's only, I feel like, a little bit up in her her head or something still or you know just wondering uh, will will he come back you know um, and it would be nice if he wants to come back or wants to be a part of my my life or be in a relationship with me but i'm i'm only taking love i'm only doing love And a balanced kind. All right, so divine masculine. Uh, 
five of wands. Hmm. Four of coins. Two of wands. Ace of Wands, Six of Coins, and Seven of Coins. <laughs> oh my God. We have the Chariot and the Ace of Cups. Okay, so, um, I just picked them up off of the bottom okay um so um until spirit said stop <laughs> no more <laughs> hmm i feel like they're telling us um i was having arguments in inside of myself in my own head a lot I um, I kept my heart closed uh, a little too long and I'm then, you know, I, I started planning how to get out of that. And uh, because because of, well, I feel like the passion that you ignite in me, he's saying to Divine Feminine, you are, and um, I was trying to figure out, is it lust, is it my physical, is it, you know, is it, then I went to my head and I couldn't make it work, and then uh, I, I went, and then my body started, you know, uh, come, you know, <laughs> moving again, and I felt lust again, and then I meant, went to my head, but I kind of skipped my heart because I didn't dare to go into my heart. I really didn't dare. So I really tried to ignore my heart and my feelings. And, and I told myself, I don't have any feelings. I don't have any. I don't know how to feel my feelings. I don't know how to feel my heart. Um, and, um, <laughs> and then I feel like suddenly... They couldn't keep their heart closed anymore. <laughs> That's what they're saying. I couldn't keep my heart closed anymore towards you. So I just had to, um, it just opened up. I'm hearing it, it, it was like there was a little crack uh, already. And, uh, and that one was created the first time I met you. I tried to close it. I tried to, <laughs> you know... Um, sew it together but you know it just broke open um because of all the love that came from you and you kept giving me the love you kept giving me and giving me and giving me more and more love and that opened my heart so what you did healed me even though i you know um i i ran away from it it was just that you energetically was loving me all along. That was why or how my heart opened up again. Because I feel like I couldn't have done it without you. And then suddenly I was like, I owe. I owe in the bank. I owe my my heart sort of owes this love to give this love back. And they were like, okay, so well, how can I do it? How can I do this? And they started making some plans, right? And they started to figure out how to work for this, how to do this. All right. Um, And then slowly the love became bigger and grander and more and more, right? And then they couldn't, you know, hold themselves back anymore. 
or I feel like maybe today for, for most of you, because something happened in the universe um, that, that is sort of bringing energy of uh, uh, giving us power to be who we are today. Or, yeah, um, so, um, and uh, so, so they, they were like, okay, I'm going for it. I'm, I'm in love with you. I'm, I'm wanting this new beginning in love. So I feel like now they're clear, not only on what they want, because I feel like they have, perhaps they've wanted this for a long time, but they didn't know how at all. But now they know that Yeah, I feel like it's like decided. It's decided that this is what I want. I feel it inside my bones, my, my heart, my soul, my body, everywhere. It's like the decision has sort of been made inside of them. So now all that's left is uh, how to, well, come back. Okay. And they're going to want to do it uh, in a strong way. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, we have six of wands, uh, strength, the tower, and the star, and ten of cups, and death, <laughs> and the world. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's put the world here. So i um, that's very very beautiful <laughs> and then we have nine of cups in the top <laughs> so okay so um hmm. ah, I have to take a few more just to say um how but let's see um uh, okay, we'll take them now, spirits. See, all right. So the moon—they're <laughs> taking a, a good deep, deep look at themselves, uh, and they're planning how to message you. I feel like they're messaging you, or there something will happen. You know, they will send you a like, or they will, you know, uh, send you an SMS, or they will see you and do something with you, or whatever. Um, and. Um, <laughs> And it's gonna be a beautiful, balanced energy. There's a lot of they. They want the balance now. We have we have with the uh, um, six of coins here. There is balance and justice comes in. There is balance, so they want to bring balance. And the hierophant is coming in. And I want to talk about the hierophant and the and the six of wands. It's like. Or they have been keeping all the good stuff, <laughs> all their tricks, all their good, loving, romantic tricks. They have been stuffing them down. And now I feel like they are ready to actually show you mm, what you're worth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because um, now they want to show you their strength. They just want to show you their strength. And I feel like they're going to surprise you. This tower doesn't come in in a negative way. It's, it comes in in a huge and beautiful love surprise for you. Like they will really, really surprise you. I'm getting. Um, and um, and 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 they're gonna tell you, you're my dream come true. You are my dream come true. We have two dreams come true here, the Nine of Cups and the Star, <laughs> okay? So, um, I have been wishing upon a star for you. I just want everything with you. I want a beautiful life with you. And I'm not the same anymore. I'm just not with a death card. I, I you know, I've changed. Um, and uh, whatever cycle I was going through, I had been repeating, I ended it. The world card comes in as fulfillment. 
you fulfill me, I'm hearing, okay? We have the Ten of Coins and the Ten of Cups, both of them. This is everything in a relationship. And we have the Hierophant, which is um, someone's wanting to marry you. Perhaps they will come with a surprise marriage proposal for some of you. Um, okay, so um, these are huge cards here. We have um, one, two, three, four, five major arcanas. Yeah, so... <laughs> Um, what a cr great reading. I don't remember the last time I felt this relaxed during a reading. Like these two are uh, so calm and they're so grounded inside of themselves. They're so, um, I, I feel like now they, there is an energy. I know who I am now. All these things about doubt and guilt and strange stuff and negativity or burdens and stuff like that, it's not here in this reading. It isn't. Something just dropped today. They let go. That's what I'm getting. So, um, so, uh, in a twin flame uh, connection here, um, well, the female stopped chasing the masculine and uh, now the masculine is chasing the feminine. So they've switched. All right, so, um, and I feel like that will bring a lot of relief to a lot of divine feminines. <laughs> okay, but divine masculines have been going through it as well. It's not like, you know, uh, they haven't suffered. They have actually been dealing with a lot more than Divine Feminine because Divine Feminine is a little further along vibrationally or frequency-wise than Divine Masculine. They have been really letting go of some hard shit over here, okay? Divine Feminine has been kept waiting and waiting and waiting, but really letting go of all traumatic stuff that's even harder you have to remember that <laughs> okay so um but yeah i just feel like uh, hmm. both of you are being saved today <laughs> it's like hmm yeah so um, beautiful energies for you. All right. So, well, this is what I had for you, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminines. Um, I really love this uh, love story between uh, you guys. All right. So, um, well, um, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. And don't forget, if you need a personal reading, uh, send me an email. And um, I'll give you a full discount. And also... Don't forget to go to my new shop and you can buy my beautiful rings that those are my favorite rings and my favorite things. So, uh, okay, so, uh, oh my God, beautiful. I will sleep well tonight. <laughs> Take care, you guys. Bye-bye.